What's up? This is uh, Tarek from uh, SmartWireTrends.com. Remember Zwift Steering? If not, or if you've never heard of it, let me refresh your memory. Just one year ago, as part of Zwift's future work, which is their beta program, Zwift released the Repack Ridge. That's their mountain bike route with the ability to use your phone as a steering device. And I'll link to the video I made on that one in the description if you want to learn more about that. So one year later, Zwift, in partnership with Elite, they released uh, the steering functionality and now it is available on all roads. This new steering functionality currently only works with the Elite Sterzo Smart Steering Device and uh, I actually just had a chance to try it for the first time this morning and I did my first ride with this and I did a crit race and I'm gonna have to say this steering functionality took crit racing or racing in general to a whole new level. And uh, let's back up a little bit and talk about the steering device, the Sterzo itself. So the Elite Sterzo device retails for $110 and is available to order today. It is basically a riser block that you place right under the front wheel and allows you to rotate your handlebar up to 34 degrees. It is ANT plus and Bluetooth compatible and requires three AAA batteries that are included to power the device and should last you up to 600 hours per lead. It has an automatic return system to easily get the handlebar back to its original position and also has an anti-slip rubber feet on a space for more stability and prevent it from slipping and moving around. I had it on my hard rubber fuzzy type carpet that I have in my training space and it wasn't slipping around or anything. It actually worked very well. Now with the new Zwift update, you will see this new icon in the pairing screen for steering. And this allows you to pair the Sterzo device. This is currently available on PC, Mac, iOS, and Android devices, and works only in Bluetooth. ANT Plus should be coming soon per Zwift. So in the pairing screen, just click on the steering icon and it will search for your steering device. And to wake up the Sterzo, just wiggle it or wiggle the handlebar a bit and it should start blinking and ready to pair. So when you are riding, you will be able to steer your avatar from right to left However, you won't be able to steer off the road or cross that center line. Also, you cannot collide with other riders, which is too bad. I could have had a lot of fun with that, maybe during Halloween. The steering felt good. It was easy to get used to immediately. The precision was just right to steer where you want. Just a slight turn will slowly move your avatar to either direction. So it wasn't too sensitive or slow to respond. I think they got it just right. The main steering functionalities are explained in this little manual that will pop up when you pair your device. Basically, you cannot collide with other Zwifters and it will also add a whole new dynamic to drafting. Holding the wheel of another rider now becomes a little extra challenging as the rider in front weaves through traffic. When steering is enabled, Zwift will no longer automatically adjust your position in the draft. Your avatar will need to follow the wheel in front closely to stay in the draft area. So you'll have to keep your eyes on the rider in front of you and pay a little extra attention. Okay, so I don't know how fun steering is going to be if you are just riding around, but this is going to be a lot of fun and adds a whole new element to racing and group riding. So I did a crit race this morning to give it a quick try and it was a lot of fun. Also, I clearly had an advantage over other riders because of my ability to steer my avatar and pick my position in the pack. So now it allows you to take your own line in corners. As you see here, I steered I and I took the shortest line through the turn and I just zoomed through the pack and suddenly I'm ahead of everyone else. You can also get blocked or block other riders. So if there's a rider next to you, you cannot just go through that rider and make a turn. You will have to find a gap to go through it. Also, you'll have to stay alert just like in real life to hold the wheel in front of you in the draft or you can just steer away from the group and take a break away and no one else will be able to catch up to you unless someone else have the steering device and is able to keep up with you. So I clearly had an advantage with the steering device because of all these extra things that I'm able to do now. And this is going to become more fun when the steering device is more widely available. It will also be interesting to see how Zwift handle racing uh, with only some people having the steering device and some people don't have the steering device. By yourself, you clearly have an advantage with the steering device, so it will be interesting to see what Zwift will do with this. I think they might just leave it alone for now and uh, just let people have fun with it until more people get this device, which by the way, you can order yours today, so check the links in the description below to see where you can get yours. 
But I think eventually Zwift will regulate this more and uh, once it becomes widely available. There's a lot of interesting potential that I see down the line uh, with racing and team dynamics. So I'm excited to see where this goes in the next few months. Also expect to see this functionality expand to stationary bikes that support uh, steering. Okay. There you have it. Let me know what you think. Is this something that you will be adding to your indoor training? Uh, do you do a lot of group riding or racing? Uh, or is this something that you will just buy and just have fun with just riding around in Zwift? Or you don't care about steering at all? I would love to hear from you. Let me know down in the comments section below. And uh, that's all I have. Thank you for watching. And see you guys in the next video.